I have this real link camera outside by the pool for about a half a year and I have forgotten about the uh, password um, so it has worked so well that my wife uh, wanted to have access to it so we just put this by the pool uh, at first I was just putting it as an experiment but it has worked like I said very well so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this permanent and I forgot the password uh, so this video I'm gonna show you how to uh, reset this particular camera and I'm gonna go ahead and also put the SD card um, into it okay so after you unplug it uh, there's going to be this um, I guess compartment on the side if you want to call it that and um, there's an SD card slot right here uh, oh you know what I there is something in there right there actually I think I may have forgotten that I did put something in there oh it's a two gigabyte card uh, probably my crazy throwaway card uh, yeah that's too little I'm gonna go ahead and put a, um, a 32 gigabyte card in there and you're going to reset this or format it from the app um, and then the, while we're here um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a paper clip um, stick it in that hole right there the RST hole or reset hole that will reset the camera I didn't look at the manual before doing this uh, I'm just going to assume that if I press it there for at least 10 seconds it is probably gonna do a reset and uh, so I'm gonna do that right now one two three four five six Oh, something actually there's a voice that came up. Okay, so it's it looks like it's back to its uh, original factory state. Add the camera and set it up. It says um, please run Rio Link app, set up the camera and start it up or something like that. Okay, so that means that uh, all I have to do is get to the uh, Rio Link app and I'm trying to look for a barcode because I know I'm gonna need to have a barcode there it is so at the at the bottom or the butt section of the camera there's a barcode right here that is the, the barcode that you need so I'm gonna go ahead and get my phone right now and uh, see if we can um, pair this uh, camera and this time I'm gonna make sure that I remember the password. Okay, I'm back with my cell phone and I'm going to uh, to the Rio Link app. I'm already in there, but um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new camera and try to scan the barcode So here we go. There you go. It can it's connecting. It says offline. Um, let's see. Connecting. Connection failed. Hmm. I wonder why. Connection fail again. I had a previously in, uh, set up on the phone, so I just deleted it. Let's try it again. Maybe the old profile was messing it up. Okay, there you go. So right now, um, it actually is asking me to re-enter my Wi-Fi password so that's a good sign okay so I did that and um, oh now it's asking me to scan my phone so it's, it's showing a barcode 
um, on the phone and it's asking me to scan it and this is the the stupid part right here as you can see the the screen is kind of faded as uh, I'm trying to scan this and the the camera is not going to be able to scan it because it's faded um, I had this problem before I think I have to take it inside so that the screen will grab get brighter or something like that I'm not sure let me see here oh, okay there you go so if I I have the older iPhone so I have to double tap on the uh, home button and it goes to this uh, app switcher and I think at this mode I can actually try to scan it and it should recognize it okay it doesn't recognize it so I'm gonna go to a darker place and hopefully it does Okay, so so it actually did connect um, after I did the uh, QR scan. Like I said, again, the trick is to um, to hit your home button so that you go to the screen and you go to a dark area and hold the camera about 12 inches from your cell phone screen, and it will recognize it after about a couple of seconds. Okay, so I think we are ready. Um, I actually did not set a password yet so actually you know what let's go back to the to the app and see what else is next so scan succeeded connection to the router succeeded and connecting to your device and let's see if it works you know initialization and there you go I'm, I'm choosing the login password so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, choose my password right now and make sure that this time I don't forget what it is okay um. I'm setting the name daylight saving time offset and it says that my SD card is not formatted you need to format it for normal use I'm gonna skip that for now uh, formatting will erase oh, actually it's, it's gonna try to format it right now so let's go ahead and do that okay it, it looks like it finished it says generalization finish um, try to use now Okay, connection failed, it's connecting, there we go, and it is live. Okay, so that's how you reset the uh, Reolink uh, Wi-Fi camera, it works very well. Um, I had other videos featuring this setup, as you can see I have the uh, solar panel right here and it's working just fine uh, it connects through this cable it's been sitting out here in direct sun with no cover for at least six months and the only thing that I can tell that is wrong with it is that it's starting to rust right there at the connection as you can see there's like quite a bit of rust right there but at this location I actually don't need the stand so I think I'm gonna remove the stand and um, um, and just lay the uh, the solar panel just like that but the solar panel is working great my battery is always at 100% and it just it just works so I'm thinking that I may even mount it up there on a pole instead of being on the ground right here like I said this is this was just a test setup and it works so well it, it I'm actually thinking about just keeping this uh, working here um, Okay, well, I'm digressing the uh, the purpose of this video was just to show you how to uh, reset format and reconnect to a uh, previously lost Password for the real link camera and we did that 
Um, all right, thank you uh, for watching this video. If you find this video useful, uh, please hit the uh, like button and subscribe to this channel. Uh, this channel is about um, do-it-yourself projects. Uh, there are some home projects, uh, solar panel projects. I'm also a software developer, so sometimes I do a um, software um, development, uh, servers related Linux stuff, projects. But anyway, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I really need to have some subscribers on it. Um, and thank you.